folks, Nick Hansbauer here, aka King of Clubs. Just for your information, this is, I'm not even kidding you, the third time I am trying to attempt to record this video. Every time my Mac crashes, every time I, just, it's like, it waits just for that moment when I finish the video and I hit stop recording and then it just, boom, and uh, there we go again. So, temp three. I, I was jacked up for this at first and now it's just like, really. <laughs> so. Let's open this mother flippin' project and uh, let's get to it. What we're going to be doing today is, now, before I tell you, let me ask you this. Have you ever been wanting to do a scene with a strobe light? Either you're some in some fighting scene like in the movie Kick-Ass or you're trying to do some disco or house party scene um, and you ran into two problems. First off, you don't have a strobe light. That could be the first problem, um, and you, or you don't want to pay the cash for it. And secondly, even if you do have one, uh, I don't know what your camera is, but I can imagine a lot of cameras, especially like the cheaper ones, won't do well shooting under strobe light because the sensors are just going to be going everywhere. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. That's going to be the first thing on the agenda for today. We are going to be building a digital strobe light and final cut and the second bonus tutorial at the end of this one is we're going to be doing some masking magic for color correcting certain parts of your image um, and compositing those together and this is going to kind of go hand in hand so you need the strobe light first and then we're going to go into the other so kind of going to be a lengthy one grab some popcorn and uh, <laughs> that was that didn't make any sense at all Sorry about that. I, this is what happens when you do tutorials for three times. The quality, the production quality just goes way down. And at the third, it's just like you don't even know what you're doing anymore. So um, let me just give you an example. We are going to be taking a regular footage like this, for example. Or uh, this. And we're going to be turning it into uh, this. Okay, um, so uh, let's start off by creating a new sequence. Let me see, see. This is like from the previous tutorials, where it's just like, fuck. Okay, can I, can I say the F word around here? I don't know. Sopa and Pipa and all you. I'm not even gonna get into this. Um, alrighty. So first thing you need is some footage. Uh, I'm just gonna be taking this. And that's my friends. <laughs> um, okay, let's take out the audio track. For, simplic for simplicity's sake, um, and what you're going to do is you are going to duplicate this footage, drop one on the other, and so we have a stack, and for now we're just going to hide the top one. Oh, that made a lot of sense, <laughs> but we're going to need that later. So let's think about this. If you have a strobe light and you press the power buttons, um, what do you have? You have a room that's dark and you always have these white flashes coming in. So this is pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to have the lower, lower footage is going to be doing the... Um, the dark room when the strobe light's off and the upper footage is going to be when the strobe light is on and then we're going to mix and mash it together and it's going to be epic. So let's dive into it. Let's just plow ahead. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact I'm doing this for the third time. This is like been an hour already that I'm sitting here. Um, okay. First off, we're going to want a color corrector. So drop that mofo on there. Uh, click visual and let's get to it. We're, we want to make this room look like the lights are off. So I would start by dropping the saturation, bringing down the blacks. And now, one thing you have to look out for, uh, when you have a scene like this, for example here, you guys can see we have light coming in from the right side, and light, I don't, even, see, I don't even know why I'm pointing, it's like you guys can obviously see what I'm pointing to. And you have light in the reflection here. Um, we, if you think about it, if you have a light, a strobe light that's going on and off, and the strobe light goes off, that doesn't mean that all the other lights in the house are going to go off. So what we're going to want to do, we want to make our subjects black, but keep the lights in the background on. So the way you do this is you drop the saturation. Dropping the saturation, you have to do because otherwise it's going to look like this. Not that nice. So drop it and uh, bring down the blacks, but boost the whites and the mids a bit. The mid, you can leave the mids where they are. You're going to be playing with the whites, blacks, and the saturation here. So drop the saturation a lot. Blacks and the whites. Now that, that looks good. Now we have our objects black, as you can see here, the two guys dancing, and you have the lights um, in the background. So let me just scrub through this to make sure everything else is fine. 
Yeah, that looks good. So we have the lights, as you can see, are still on, but everything else is not on anymore. And we can actually make this even a bit darker. There we go. That looks good. I'll bring that up, actually. Okay. There we go. So you see, so just when it's when it's dark, you can just kind of see what's going on. Not not really, but uh, like like so. All right. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the exact opposite for the upper clip. So let's unhide that. Um, and we're gonna do the exact opposite for the upper clip. Drag another color correction to that, and this time we are going to max out the image. So really make that bright uh, to make it look like the people are being illuminated by some really uh, harsh light light source. Um, again, I like to drop the opacity because that seems like what how your camera would actually react if you were filming in a strobe light. Uh, you can even reduce the blacks a bit, not too much, otherwise you're going to get this film grain. Um, play around with it. So that, that, that looks pretty good. That looks like there's like some really freaking bright light going on there. Um, I'm going to save this and now we are going to get into the strobo action. So here's you, here you can just see in the viewer, light image versus dark image. Okay, um, so now we are going to double click the top image, the top layer, load that into the viewer, and we are going to apply the effect blink. Now, what's important is, I usually have the ratio, the on ratio one, on duration one, and the off duration three. Um, because if you think about it, in real life, a strobe light isn't really, you, it isn't on and off, isn't at the same time. It's mainly dark and then you have these flashes. Uh, if you have them at the same time, you don't want to do that uh, because if you do, it's just going to look weird and like your um, video footage is messed up. So I usually do it one to three. You can do it one to four too if you're going for more of a slower blink. Um, I don't know, like for music video, if it's like a slower paced song and you want to do one to four, play around with it. I can't really transmit verbally what you guys are, what you guys what you guys want to do, but um, I, I just I just leave it at one to three. Um, now let's render this bad boy and see what it looks like. All right, so so far we've got this. Now you may be thinking, ah, Nick, that looks so stupid. What? It, which is, it's true. I'll leave you that. This doesn't look not. This doesn't look good at all. So what we're gonna do? We are going to do some trickery here to add some to add some production value to this. Um, it's kind of unrealistic, you'll see in a moment why, but it's going to make a big difference in your final clip. We are going to select the bottom clip.